Hi, and welcome to Como Height Vision's online training for the QD700 document camera. Today we'll be going over this machine and how it can be used in your classroom. Other models will have slight differences in features, but this training can be used with all models. So, what is a document camera? Well, a document camera is a digital upgrade to the classic overhead projector. Remember those things? The classic lights, lens, mirrors setup? We as teachers used to have to convert our work onto those plastic sheets so they could be seen by our class. With this, not anymore. The Como document camera is just that, a camera. Not having to pass light through our objects gives us a lot of advantages. For one thing, we can use sheets as, instead of clear plastic ones. Or we can go one better, three-dimensional objects. How tiresome is it having to make copies for every student in your class? Or converting them onto clear plastic sheets? With this, we can make one copy and present it so that every student can read it at the same time and follow along. Aside from the time-saving features of the document camera, students can also make use of this for reports, documents, or just sharing the work with others. Have something that can't be put on PowerPoint? With the QD700, nothing is beyond your presentation skills. So now that we know what some of the possibilities are, let's take a look at some of the features. The bottom of the document camera contains a lot of different options and features which you can go over and use in your classroom. We're going to go over a few now. For a more detailed idea of what the options are, you can always refer back to the owner's manual with the camera or online at www.como.com. The zoom buttons allow you to magnify and zoom out of an image depending on how deep you want to go to make the smallest parts of an object visible. The scroll buttons allow you to smoothly scroll up or down an image while still focused on it. This is extremely helpful in reading lengthy texts. It also doesn't disorient your students when moving the image like one would with an overhead projector. The freeze button freezes the current image and holds it even if there is nothing underneath the lens. The title button freezes the top of the image where a title would normally be. Holding this image allows students to always see the topic of the lesson. The split screen button divides the screen in half, freezing the image and holding it on one half while the other remains active. This is very good for comparing two things side by side. With these functions, you really have a lot of different options of not just what you want to show, but also how you want to show it. For example, one other feature is the negative button. With this, it will actually reverse the polarity of your image to a mode more designed for picking up film strips, x-rays, and that kind of thing. Teaching photography? This is a great tool to use. Or maybe we have an x-ray of the human joint. You can project this up just like you would at a doctor's office. With these choices, you're sure to find yourself presenting on things that were before impossible. With the next video, we'll go over some ideas of how this can be used with some real lessons.